Hi there, I'm Dr. Pergandy with Thrive Chiropractic and Wellness Center. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the one herb that could be just as effective at stopping your migraine headaches as the leading prescription medication. Are you intrigued? If you suffer from migraine headaches, you know how debilitating the pain can be, and you will do anything to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Chances are, if you suffer from several migraines a month, that your doctor has prescribed a rescue medication. So this is something that you take at the onset of the headache to try to get rid of it. The most commonly prescribed rescue med is Imitrex, or the generic name for that is Sumatriptan. Now, back in 2014, they did a double-blind, randomized, controlled clinical trial comparing ginger root to sumatriptan. Now, a double-blind study means that neither the participants nor the people administering the treatment knew which group was receiving what. So it really helps eliminate bias when it comes to the results. Now, the participants in this particular study, there was 100, so there was 50 in each group, and they had moderate to severe pain when it came to their migraine headaches. So at the onset of their migraine, half of them received ginger and half of them received sumatriptan, and then they tracked how long it took for the headaches to subside. And what they found is that ginger root was just as effective as the sumatriptan was. Unfortunately, for those in the sumatriptan group, they had a lot more side effects. Those in the ginger root group, um, only one or two complained of nausea or an upset stomach. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why hasn't my neurologist told me about this? Why haven't they done a larger study? Well, Imitrex alone, so the name brand, um, grosses over a billion dollars in annual sales every year. And now that it's available in a generic form from multiple um, pharmaceutical companies, they're collecting millions of dollars as well. So there's a lot of money to be made in these prescription meds, whereas right now you can go on Amazon, you could buy a pound of organic ginger root powder for less than 10 bucks. So there's not a lot of money to be made um, in promoting ginger root. So the amount of ginger root that they used in this particular study was 250 milligrams. So if you used actual powder, it would be an eighth of a teaspoon. <laughs> Imagine how long that, uh, that ginger root powder, that pound of ginger root powder would last you with only using an eighth of a teaspoon uh, for your migraine headache. Now they did another study a few years later where they wanted to see if adding ginger root um, could be an add-on treatment and help the treatment they were already using be more effective. And in this case, this was again a double-blind, randomized, controlled clinical trial, and it was done in an emergency room, so people were coming in because their migraine was so severe. And half the group received ketoprofen, which is prescription ibuprofen, and the other half received ketoprofen plus ginger root. And guess what? Those that received the ginger root had better clinical outcomes. So why not give ginger root a try? It's far less expensive. You're gonna have less side effects than the sumatriptan. So how do you do this? Well, you can buy ginger root powder and take an eighth of a teaspoon at the onset of your migraine headache. Obviously, I do recommend that you get organic and make sure that it's quality and there aren't any fillers or anything added to that. You could also buy actual ginger root in the grocery store and make a ginger root tea. Now, if that doesn't appeal to you, because ginger can be a little spicy, um, you can get capsule forms for this. However, when it comes to supplements, especially herbal supplements, what's on the label isn't necessarily what's in the bottle. And so unfortunately, the quality can vary um, from company to company. So I highly recommend if you're gonna try a capsule form that you look at the label very carefully and maybe even look into the company to make sure that it's been tested that what's in the actual capsule is the amount that's on the bottle. Don't get the cheapest um, form of ginger root in a capsule form. What You kind of get what you pay for when it comes to supplements. So I did a previous video that I talked about some natural things you can do at the onset of a migraine headache. I didn't include the ginger root powder and because I didn't, I wanna go into these studies in a video. So I, I wanted to do a separate video about that. But if you haven't seen my previous video where I talked about some other things you can do at the onset of your migraine headache, you're gonna to wanna to check that out. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. If you found this information valuable, please share this with someone you know. Um, chances are you did not know about this 
the study because, well, again, there's not a lot of money to be made in promoting ginger root powder over sumatriptan. All right, you guys, we'll talk to y'all soon.